Hey, welcome back. This is Deborah with the Deborah Peters Show. I have been so busy and I think I've neglected you. So I wanted to touch base and um, share some of my secret sauce for creating and for manifesting and for developing the lifestyle that you desire. And um, to just let you know that I love you and I'm thinking of you and I haven't forgotten about you. We have, me and my team have been just like working nonstop. I've rewritten all the curriculum for our programs. And because after, you know, the kicker that was 2020, I just really felt like this needs a, an up level. I need to. I need to put some leading edge stuff out here, not for 2021, but where we're going beyond this. And so that's what I've been up to. And through all of 2020, uh, I had my moments as well. I mean, there were moments, I had moments that um, were emotional and i just embraced it you know i just uh i accepted it as part of the process i didn't make myself wrong for it and i figured out ways to channel it and to turn it into like rocket fuel to reinvent my business model rewrite the curriculum design a phenomenal new website and some landing pages and some manuals and some video programs. So we've got like tons and tons of stuff that we're just hitting the trigger on, pushing play on that you're gonna have access to. But while that's percolating and we're, we're getting it out the door, I thought what a brilliant time to just come on and say howdy and to share with you some of my secret sauce tools of how I do it. You know, how do I, as a coach, how do I keep everybody moving forward? All of my clients, like teams of clients, teams in companies, um, small to mid-sized companies, leadership teams, entrepreneurs, how do I keep everybody moving forward and keep myself moving forward and my team moving forward and not get pulled into what is? So I have a set of tools that I run on a consistent basis. And, um, but before I go into that, let me share something with you because a lot, you know, a lot of people don't know a whole, a whole lot about my background and I've always hesitated on kind of sharing the uh, hardships um, that I've been through because, you know, I didn't want to sound like I was complaining about my life. I always want to bring you positive, upbeat, you know, happy messages of possibility. But I think to add some scope to that so that you don't just, you know, watch the videos and look at me and go, oh, well, it's fine for her. You know, she makes it look so easy, but she doesn't know my life. I thought, why not give you a little bit of insight into some of the experiences that I've had that I've had to really seriously overcome those hardships, you know? And I, I think the biggest one for me was just having a family that couldn't connect emotionally. You know, I'm, I'm a love bug. Like I'm, I'm like, I love life and I love people and I love to express my love for people and I'm a giver. So I was born in this family where people didn't like to do that they felt too vulnerable, I don't know. Like I would be assuming, right? Because nobody wants to talk about it. <laughs> and so there I was kind of like this lone wolf and I felt really um, abandoned, I felt abandoned. 
and I felt not good enough. In fact, I was told that I wasn't good enough. And I remember I was thinking about, okay, what am I going to share with you that would help you grasp um, the magnitude of some of the struggle I've been through. And I remember uh, just before my grandfather died, so my grandfather died when I was 10, and um, he had actually spent quite a few years helping my mom, who was amazing, um, uh, learn how to run a fam our family farm, because my dad died when I was seven, so I basically grew up without a father. And so that was challenging in and of itself but that's another story um but i remember you know when i was i was 10 when my grandfather died and just before he died he said to my mother he goes you better watch out for her because she's not going to amount to anything and you know what i remember one time i was being disobedient and my mom used that on me to get me to conform and it like cut me to pieces and I carried that with me probably most of my life and it was maybe about eight nine years ago I was doing some personal growth work on myself and I literally was on my knees in pain as I released that those words spoken over my existence and so you know when you're battling or pushing through or you know, looking to take your life to the next level and, and you don't have a support system, you, you really have to learn to love yourself. And that was the gift for me, you see, was learning to love myself. But man, let me tell you, getting to that point, if I didn't have the personal growth tools that I have, I don't know what would have happened or what my life would look like. I'd probably be a statistic. And so that's one of my, my tools in my secret sauce is to work on, look, just work on yourself every day. Even if it's just five or 10 minutes, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's not like, like if you look at the hurdle, for example, like I felt abandoned and I felt unloved, I felt, unworthy, like no confidence, no self-worth, horrible self-esteem, and like I didn't belong on the planet, like I didn't have a, a right to be here on the planet, in this body, in this life. And so to move through that doesn't mean you have to do, you know, 10 hours of work on yourself a day. All you need is just two, three, five, ten minutes a day of something affirming. Now, I create this combination and it changes, so it's not the same every day, so it doesn't have to be rigid. But one of the things I like to do that I've recently developed over this last year and month is I stretch every day. So I've gone online, YouTube, you know, I found this great girl, has this amazing workout series, and I've started using her stretches. So she has, you know, there's a combination, like you can do a 15 minute stretch, 20 minute, 30 minute, but I make sure I stretch every single day and I turn that stretch into self-love time, you know, where I say my affirmations. Like, I love, I love, I love, Florence Scovel Shin. She's like one of my favorites. And so I take some of her affirmations and I say them out loud. One of my favorite affirmations is, money comes to me in avalanches of abundance from multiple sources on a continuous basis, easily and effortlessly. And I'll say that to myself over and over and over, and I'll change it up in the order, but that's just an example of what I'll do in terms of forming my mindset around self-empowerment and self-love. And the stretching part is amazing because when you start stretching your body for you know, 20, 30 minutes a day, you quiet your mind and you actually have an opportunity to tune into, you know, whether it's like a tight hamstring or 
or a lower back or maybe it's shoulder stress, whatever it is, you have a chance to put your mind into that part of your body and actually send it some good vibes. And that, oh my gosh, that will change your entire life right there. So you don't have to do what I do, but I just want to share with you that I have moved past all kinds of blocks in my life. And I'll share more with you as I, as I create more of these um, podcasts and videos for you. But really, truly just moving beyond the program. <laughs> That's really what it's all about. Now, coming up on the website that we are about to launch, I'll have some free downloads for you like how to map out goals that literally pattern and program your mind to achieve them and move you past all the blocks. I'll have some really great meditations and affirmation audios that you can load onto your phone, iTunes, and you can put your little headphones on and you can listen to it. And it'll take you through a process where you can repattern any part of your life. Look, you guys, if I can do it, you can do it. If I can move past, you know, being abused, being abandoned, being a teenage mother, you know, leaving an alcoholic background, like if I can do all these things and still keep building and thriving and expanding and achieving and loving life, and not having any regrets and, and not having any fear and just like going for it every single day, you can too. And I'll share that with you. I'll share my story and I'll share my steps and I'll share my secret sauce with you. So stay tuned. And um, I just really look forward to having you be a part of what we're creating here because neuroengineering is all about living a high performance life and that high performance life is self-love self-creation self-awareness and being conscious being so conscious that when you think a thought it shows up as an experience in your life and you see how much power you have all right i look forward to seeing you again soon thank you hit the like button please that helps the channel and subscribe and then there's this little bell and it's next to the subscribe button if you click that every time i upload some more secret sauce you'll get notification of that you can pop on here and get the tool i'll see you soon love you